Yo, what's going on everybody? You know who it is, Mozzie Hobbies in the house, aka Skux FPV. If you've got one of these one fifth scale petrol powered two stroke engine vehicles, you've just brought it off somebody either second hand or else you've brought it brand new, whether it'll be a lossy, an HPI or a Raven, and you don't know how to get it started, and all you want to do is get down to the field and rip it around and have some fun. Well, today I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to get that thing running so you can get on down to that field, get on down to that BMX track and rip it around so without further ado let's get stuck into it tip number one flooding the engine now this can be done by continuously pulling the engine like so a couple of reasons why this couldn't be starting is because number one the fuel runs up through the fuel line into the carburetor from the carburetor it then goes into the head the spark plug there needs to ignite but with all that fuel inside there it's not going to ignite because it's too wet and the other reason could be the choke is not on on the other side so if you flick that down then pull it then you might get a spark and once that's been ignited pull the choke back up and then continue trying to start it and if that's not working, well, there's a little trick that I'm going to show you now. What we need to do is grab our tool and then we need to remove the spark plug from the back. So next we're going to grab the bar, we're going to spin her right around, put her on her side just like that and then we're going to grab the pull start and we're just going to gently pull the pull start. So what's happening here is we're sending all the fuel down to the head and as we pull it, it's this, all the pressure is just blowing it all out, all the fuel out. So once you feel that you've done that long enough, spin it back around, grab your tools, grab your spark plug, put it back on and put your cap back on and try giving it another start. So give your Baja a prime, put the choke down, give it a pull, hear it ignite, put the choke up. Give it another pull. Tip number two, a dirty spark plug. In a normal situation, what you want to do is put the choke down, then you want to pull the cord. Once you do that, you should hear the engine kick over. If it doesn't do that within the five or six, seventh pull, what you want to check is your spark. So what we want to do first is remove the cap, take your spark plug out, put the spark plug back into the cap put it onto a metal surface I'm going to use the power pipe grab the pull start we want to pull it and we're looking for the spark at the bottom if we have spark we're all good to go if we don't have spark what you want to do is check the bottom of the spark plug if it's black around the top there what you want to do is grab yourself a bit of sandpaper sand it on down on the top and underneath there Put it back onto your metal surface, pull the cord, if you see spark then you're good to go. Grab it back out and put it back into our head, put our cap back on, give it a pull and you should be good to go. Tip number three, kill switch. If you've brought your Baja from somebody second hand and you can't get anything out of it, you can't get a spark out of it, well, there's a good chance there's a kill switch on board. The only way you can tell this is by looking at the top of the battery tray and seeing a little light like this one right here. So I don't have the car on at the moment, but I'll turn on my radio first. Turn on the car. See the little red light that's just come on? So that means the kill switch is off. That means when I pull the pull cord, you're going to get a spark out of it. The moment I turn my radio off, see it flashing now? 
that means the kill switch has been on, it's been activated. So what happens is when you go out of range with one of these things, as soon as it loses signal, that little flashing light's going to start flashing, everything's just going to shut off. The electronics, the motor will just shut off completely. So this is just a safety thing. So when it goes out of range and you're not heading towards any sort of kids or school kids coming home from school, you're not going to hit them. It's just going to stop. The moment I turn my radio back on again, solid red once again, that means the kill switch is off. That means I can start my Baja again. So again, if you brought it off somebody second hand and you're not working, it's not working at all, that's one of the reasons why. So check to see if there's a kill switch on board and you should be right to go. Tip number four, tuning. On the carburetor, we've got three screws. To the left, we have the high needle. To the right, we have the low needle. And at the bottom, we've got the idle. So the only ones we need to play around with is the high and the low. So the stock standard settings for those is on the high is one and a half out. On the low is one and a quarter out. So what we're going to do is grab our screwdriver, we're going to go to the high needle, we're going to screw it all the way in. So that's as far as I can go. So I'm going to screw it one and a half out. So I'm going to go half a turn, another half turn, so that makes it one turn, and another half, which is one and a half. We'll go to the low needle now. We'll screw that all the way in. So that's, it. that's as far as I can go. We're going to screw it on out one and a quarter. So half, another half equals one and a quarter. So especially with the Rover and Bajas, um, the stock standard settings are as what I just did then. Um, depending on the CC size of the engine, I think it does differ, but the majority of them is one and a half on the high, one and a quarter on the low. Um, while we're here, I might as well tell you another, another tip. So, see the kill switch here? So, what tends to happen too, a lot of gunk gets in between there as well. So, when you see that flat and you can't start it, chances are there's some grass stuck in between that switch. Flick it on out or else you can use an air compressor to blow it on out so it just makes that button nice and free again. That way you can start your Baja. Tip number five, fuel mixture and air leaks. So most of these Baja's two-stroke engine petrol powered cars, they run a fuel uh, ratio of 25 to 1. Um, some races out there they actually prefer 50 to 1 but that's just a personal preference thing so 25 to 1 is a perfect perfect ratio for one of these cars I feel um, so that's 40 mils of oil to 1 litre of petrol um, you will find that when you buy these second hand they might have fuel stall in there my recommendations is tip it out because it's probably been in there for quite a long time and what happens is when you leave it in there for a long time the oil goes off in it so just tip it on out um, put some fresh stuff in there and you'll be all good to go air leaks so another reason why you can't start them sometimes you can get them started but what will happen is they either bog out on you or they just run too high um, no matter how much tuning you do it's just going to run too high so what happens is there's an isolation block just behind the carburetor there that can get warped sometimes so no matter how tight you tighten those those screws up in there to tighten up the isolation block it's still going to leak through there it's not going to start another good one is at the back here got the power pipe you've got the two screws screwing into the head of the motor um, you can tell that it's leaking by looking at the back and you'll see all the oil that's coming down the back you know there's a leak in there so what you want to do is change the gaskets behind there and then you'll want to tighten them up put a little bit of loctite on there i usually use the green stuff put them in there tighten them up and make sure you got no air leaks in there as well another good one is the air filter so the air filter just behind this cover here so we've got an outer air filter we've got an inner air filter so it's the inner air filter you want to oil up but first you got to clean it so clean them both once you've done that grab your air filter oil oil the inner one only leave the outer one dry um, and that will 
you know that's another reason why that might not start because the last guy who owned one of these cars either put them on too thick or put them on both filters as well uh, another one is the fuel cap um, so with the roving ones they do come with the plastic fuel cap this one's got an aluminium one on see the little hole there that has to have that hole there so if i take this off show behind it so there should be a little pinhole right there as well this right in there there should be a pinhole there and on that side there that's to let a little bit of air in there okay so the rover ones like i said the rover ones come with plastic ones sometimes they don't drill the hole deep enough so you think there's a hole there but there is no hole there so when you're trying to start it it's not starting on you that's because there is no hole in there it looks like there's one but there is no one so you just get yourself like a one mil drill drill it on down put a hole in there same for the other side as well pull it off drill it in it's not going to do any damage to the car at all as long as there's a pinhole there you should be all good to go i do hope you found this video helpful and i do hope you got that baja on the road so don't forget to like and subscribe to see some more up and coming videos tell your friends your families your aunties and your uncles and kids keep cool to after school now let's go rip this baja <laughs>